Seabirds were one of the first species to inhabit the newly formed Hawaiian Islands. Maui Nui Seabird Recovery Project works with partners throughout Maui Nui to protect the seabirds and their habitat. One of the main projects is the Lanai Native Species Recovery Project, which focuses on protecting the Ua'u, or Hawaiian petrel, and its habitat. In 2006, Fern Duval of the Hawaii Division of Forestry and Wildlife wanted to know if there were any Ua'u, the Hawaiian petrel, an endangered seabird on the island of Lanai. So he started the project Maui Nui Seabird Recovery Project and we went to Lanai to look and found that the second most petrels known to nest anywhere in Hawaii are on the island of Lanai. Ua'u, like a lot of seabirds, uh, they mate for life, they're monogamous. So they have one partner that they every year find again and nest with. They have a pretty big range, about 2,600 miles. They'll nest here. Most of their feeding is done up in Alaska where they do uh, squid and krill. For their nesting areas, they tend to stay on steeper slopes. Uh, here on Lanai, they prefer staying in the Uluhe. Um, they burrow under it to make their nests, but uh, up on Haleakala, they'll nest on uh, straight rock. The current population of the Hawaiian petrel is very low. In history books, it said that the Uwa'u used to blacken the skies. So you're talking about thousands of Uwa'u that used to you know, flourish here in the Hawaiian Islands with the influx of new people coming to the island and development. That's how the population dwindled down. And that when the Europeans came in, they brought in predators such as cats and rats and um, barn owls. And that's what we're dealing with here on the island of Lanai. We do removal of invasive plants and predator control. By removing invasive plants from the watershed, there will be regrowth of native plants to create a habitat area for the wa'u. To control invasive plants like strawberry guava, the field crew uses a method called slash and squirt, where they cut into the bark of the plant and selectively inject herbicides. Seabirds have been connectors since way back in the day. There was nothing but bare lava and the seabirds were the first ones to arrive, bringing nutrients from the ocean. In the same way, seabirds are now connecting the people of Lanai with the county of Maui, who's funding work in their watershed, and many other organizations. People are learning that their watershed and the seabirds therein can be saved watershed is our main source of water so protecting it not only helps the birds but also our community. If nothing is done to help protect our uwa'u here then their future will be bleak but with the work we're doing with removing of the predators and restoring its natural habitat then they have a great chance of survival. The environment needs a lot of care and the people of Lanai have risen up to meet that need. Students have come, worked in the AmeriCorps internship program and then become staff members and now work in the forest to control invasive weeds and to protect the Uwa'u so that their habitat is safe and they can successfully reproduce. You guys can help by volunteering your time and coming out here. Any help we, we can get, any hands, any hours, it would be greatly appreciated. Seabirds like the Ua'u helped create the nutrient-rich soil for native plants to grow in Hawaii's watersheds. Today, protecting this native habitat is important in ensuring the survival of the Ua'u and the future water supply for Lanai.